Hey guys, it's Steph with Steph's Adventures and Pat Finds. And we have an unboxing to do today. Um, first of all, the um, outfit that I slayed today, because we went out today, um, is my uh, Jessica Simpson dress. Jessica Simpson wedge heels. And um, my Louis Vuitton lock me. Steph, um, welcome to my channel. I do an unboxing from time to time. I love luxury shopping, gaming and adventures, and those things in my life I'll share with you. And um, so, yes, my little outfit together and had my Ralph Lauren um, raincoat because of course it's, it's raining and um, it was a beautiful day, raining, beautiful day, raining, kind of thing. Welcome spring. So, um, okay, let's get to the unboxing. As I said, as far as the handbags go, I'm enjoying what I have. I'm getting a little pickier about um, my style and what I want and what I need, what fits in my life. And so, um, but this is a must. Um, what fits inside is um, a wallet, a pair of readers, Some cash, some cards, and um, because of the level of difficulty in closing this bag when you overstep it, it's not good to do it have lights. So you phone in there, and then it holds the essentials, and it does look like a full on bag um so you don't make chinchi as um a good buy for the money i'd say i just love it love it love it so that's that and um i'm gonna put that out of the way we've got um um, the, um, second part of the Gucci, um, web heels, um, unboxing to do, um, because we didn't get to finish that for the long guys the other day, and so I've got those here to do, and then we have a pair of shoes to do with um, Hermes. Okay, and so we did the unboxing for Rue La La. Um, uh, I did open the box, take a look at the shoes of the white ones. I have not looked at the black ones yet. Um, I'm afraid that the black ones may be too small by about half the size 
I'm in the Jessica Simpsons. I'm high seven and a half. And please don't look at my face. But, um, and yes, I have my hair up, um, in, in, in a clip. And yes, on a, a, on a Saturday night. And, but, could not be helped this raining. So, Gucci. That's bags for the shoes. Lovely, silky, smooth, luxurious little baggies. These are the black. And they have white and red and navy blue um, webbing on the back. Stiletto heel. Of course, they come with um, additional shoe sets seen that in the previous box. Um, care cards, scent pack, moisture pack or whatever you want to call those. Tissue. Tissue. Those dogs are barking, baby. Okay. So, yes, I don't know if it's because of all the walking that I've done today. If my feet are swollen, but the Cinderella is not wearing the shoe, okay? This one is, it's not working for me. Okay. The white spit, fabulous. Um, I'm very, very happy with those. But the, um, and these are a beautiful shoe. And please note, they have not hit the floor. And they, they will be up. You want these seven and a half, thirty-seven and a half, thirty-eights were for me. Don't give my thirty-eights. I'm, I'm, I'm about to send these back. Get the thirty-eights. So, okay, moving on to the next unboxing. Because I will deal with these later. Um, well, you know me, I can't stand a mess. If you know, you know. Um, you know. But, um, so, yes, the, um, 37 and a half did not work. I was afraid that they would not. I didn't know that bad. Yeah, they're not. Same. <sighs> Back to the drawing board. At least I got the white ones. I'm so happy about that. Uh, the white ones had to be 
and um, these are yeah a lot I will walk up and let you take a look at that let me get my Jessica's back on I'm like everybody else. I'm being conservative with my money right now and being picky um, just because we purchased so much. Money is uncertain and um, uh, the giant pots are still good. But I'm, I'm just doing other things with my money. Um, and, and all those good things we get. Sip of that coffee there. I'm gonna bring this up, let you guys see that. And these were the white ones. Um, I don't hate that about the black ones, but I just knew that that was going to happen. Don't worry. I um, have to rectify that. Um, these are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm so glad I got the white. Uh, if y'all look on my previous unboxings, I did a unboxing on, them, on a Gucci canvas with white leather straps. Perfect. So back to my wonky foot you know you always have one foot that you think is prettier than the other mm. so i'm not showing y'all my wonky toes but i will show you this just fabulous shoe i mean just gorgeous. I mean, just stunning. Stunning. Um, it has a navy blue strap, a uh, red strap, and a white strap. Uh, one strap is webbing. Um, <clears throat> super comfy. Super comfy. And since I know that I'm going to keep these, I'm going to go ahead and put them on the floor. 
um, so that you can see the B detail and all that good stuff there. Just a fabulously stunning shoe. Not particularly well designed for what I've got on today, um, but it is just a beautiful shoe. Um, so I am extremely glad. Um, that I've got these and I will definitely be there's a little like plastic backing there um, to help hold that webbing in place so it doesn't get loose and break away and um, it has in uh, gold leather um, Gucci made in Italy so um, and then on the back it has a metal plate it says Gucci and just a smooth bottom there um, oh my maid's doing a fantastic job at this so yes uh, okay, so um, that's for the white, and you can see the B detail there on the side, and this signature Gucci stripe. Um, so love, love, love the white ones, and I will definitely, um, although the black ones do not have the the bumblebee, um, I've will definitely be getting the the black. Um, now my mother always tells me to, to go ahead and get a size up to keep my toes from sticking out on the top of the shoe. But as the shoe wears, it all even, you know, kind of wears out and then um, my foot sliding around in the shoe, so I prefer a tighter shoe. Um, you may want to, um, like I said, the eight work for me. I normally get a seven and a half, um, which is a thirty-seven and a half, um, and these are thirty-eights in the European sizes. So, you just love, 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 love. That is for the um, Gucci Web shoes. Next thing we had to unbox is um, Hermes. Box cutter for this one. Just wore that 
that was the bag. It was, it was my next um, Lux purchase, and actually, I was shooting for jackpot to get it with. And then after I did all that, um, got confused about how where I wanted to purchase the bag. And then I decided to pull back on it and think about it. Um, like I said, I'm being more cautious with my purchases. Um, because I have quite a bit to enjoy now um, that I need to get to and see about. I'm not exactly proof positive that, you know, I know another handbag, of course, that's in my future, it's in my nature. But, um, I'm just not sure that I want a full-on bag buy one another small bag. Um, and do some other things with my money. Go on some adventures. So we will see. I wanted to touch base with you about the um resale market because it is where I'm thinking about making a purchase from my next bag just because I found one um, that's cheaper. Um, as of our, you have to have a salvating mount right now at the possibilities of getting a really good deal um, um, a bag or being able to find the bags that um, you've not previously been able to find are suddenly available and um, the reason being is because um, people are having to go back to work and um, COVID, most of the COVID restrictions have been lifted. Um, so people are going back to work, things are being produced. Um, you don't have items sitting on ships out in the shipyards the way that you did before. Um, so materials are more easily available. And, um, yeah, for all of these reasons and all of these things, yada, 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 that we know. Yeah, well, things are back to normal. We're in a recession, and, yeah. So, your mouth has to be salvating that, of course, these unrealistic prices as a seller, uh, as a long time seller on eBay, it is a realistic, um, uh, we own sellers on eBay generally can make, um, if we see in, in any type of sales, if you're making, um, 30%, you're doing good of your, of your sales. And so, um, when you're, um, purchasing, um, hard to get items, um, uh, that drives the value up, 
and um, that's what took place with um, the top designers uh, and things like that, the luxury goods <coughs> in that market. Well, now things are kind of getting back to normal and you will see um, I forget the percentages, um, of course, Chanel Hose and her Hermes, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, um, and then it just drops from there, um, the percentages of, um, 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 retail value that they hold, um, I think that Louis Vuitton drops, I think, up to 30%. So, say you paid $100 for something. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can best bet that it's going to sell at best and in, in the best condition possible uh, for a pre-loved pre piece would be... Um, 30% less of, of that 100 which would be $30 less. So, um, 70 bucks. <clears throat> so, it's hard to, you know, it's, it's hard to, to explain uh, to people that uh, whether it's Poshmark uh, Fashion File, eBay, Amazon, um, y you know, um, it's all going to cost at least, um, it, it, you know, generally 15 to 30% to sell your item. Um, so when you're um, thinking about selling a large number of bags, particularly um, I, I can't say quickly because, um, but they can help with the market, um, that you're selling in, um, locate those buyers in particular for your piece. Um, so I do recommend, um, consignment with your higher end pieces. Um, and I've, if you live in a rural area, I'm not talking about your corner market, flea market, um, consignment shop. No. Take it to somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, you can look online. There's a lot of places that you can actually send the bag off to. Um, so, um, you know, you're really your better buyers are in the um, larger cities or when I say better buyers, what I mean are the buyers that have, um, generally have more funds, or right, normally have more of a population of people who have the funds to purchase those items. And you, with anything that you sell, you've got to know your market. It's nothing discriminatory. Um, and it's all, um, all about what sells where, um, you know, when in Rome. So anyway, let me get to the unboxing <coughs> with Hermes, um, they send just a plain white box. Love it. Reminds me of a big box. And um, just to get started, box. And Hermes is um, obviously uh, the top designing house uh, with the most expensive handbags and leather goods, generally. Um, that little care pack. Should I have our receipt? 
and uh -huh. yeah, all that stuff. I'm um, being right. I'm sorry. I wrote a little note to myself, and this is the receipt. A beautiful box. But yes, you have to be salivating at the idea of all the good deals that you are about to get on Trading Loved. Because in a recession, people are naturally going to come off their prices. Now, um, generally on eBay particularly, I know if you contact the um, buyer, I mean the seller, and particularly if it's an item that's been sitting there for a while, if you'll ask them to make uh, to um, take a lesser amount, a lot of times, if it's a reasonable amount, by a few dollars or something, you know, I'm not talking about anything like drastic, like thousands. Not unless you're looking at the classic, but, but anyway, um, or Kelly Birkin or something, you know, along those lines. But, um, yeah, it's really late at night, and we've been gambling for a couple of days, and I'm exhausted. So, let me get this unboxing before I start rambling on. And, um, just beautifully well packed. Everything that Thomas does is just fantastic. There's a little orange box with um with a brown bow tie. Brown ribbon. And like I said, one of these days I'm gonna figure out what to do with that brown ribbon. It's just beautiful and oh yes I love their fragrances I really do um if you're looking for a little slice of heaven uh, that you can um afford Their um, perfumes and colognes are um, very reasonable. Very. Oh, I like that. Very fresh. And yes, it's a shoebox. Um, there's a little there's a little shoes in there, a little shoebox. Now I thought myself, I said, self, you know what? This is the equivalent of, you know, those um, cheap looking flip flops that coaches have got. And, you know, um, look, do you really want to do that for $300 by using some cheap little flip flop? Okay, but this is Hermes. And I said, self, it's Hermes. Nothing they have is, is cheap, <laughs> made or cheap. So, um, it may appear to be that way, just low-key, but, um, which is great, but it's very quality stuff. So, that being said, um, these are like a starter shoe for Hermes. And 
Um, so, and it's just a little rubber flip flop, but it's a thin, I mean, a thick, you know, fairly thick. It's not super, super thin. It does have some weight in the bottom. It does have some grip on the bottom. And, um, let's see how this baby fits. Love the disc space. Being a great wine bottle, but anyway, sorry. Um, it's just a little southern girl and me wants to repurpose everything. We still keep Folgers coffee cans. God knows what I'm going to do with them, but I guess I'll do with them one day. Just perfect. Okay. I could have gone with, and for the purpose that I had mentioned, I don't like my shoes to stand out above my feet. I don't like it to be about this big boat on the bottom of my foot. I like to have my shoes um, actually just be a part of my foot. I'm not saying I have pretty feet and I want them to stand out by any means, but that's just personal preference for me. I don't like to look down at this thing about I don't want to have big feet. And it's a childhood phobia. <coughs> Excuse me. Just start getting over COVID, the voice change thing, and everything, and then and, and having COVID two or three times, and then getting over all that, and some some dental work being done and done and everything, and then next thing I know, um, Lord Almighty, if it's not one thing or another, so I hope you guys can hear me. I know my voice is raspy. I know it's going in and out. I'm coughing. I am very sorry. We've got a tropical front coming through. That's not technically a tropical front, but it's a tropical front. But anyway, back to the shoes. Love these. Love, love, love. I'm a big Tory Burch fan. Uh, flip flops are my thing. These barking dogs. I love them. Love, love, love them. Um, right now they are super comfy and um, like I said and my heel just is on the back and my toes just are in um, but that is how I like my shoe my foot is kind of a half in between size but I do like these and it has the um, horse bit, signature horse bit. It has her mask very discreetly and printed on the bottom. I'm sure that you'll be able to find knockoffs um, or dupes, um, you know, of these shoes. Uh, but this is this season's, um, 
flip flop and I will list the name of it in the um, description box below um, and with a link to them and um, yeah these are great grab and go uh, throw in your bag and go anywhere anytime a uh, pool beach spa um, you know run errands during the day definitely a vacay shoot which is why I purchased it was for vacay um, but it is great for every day um, I hear that it does loosen up um, and I know that particularly if you live somewhere where you have, um, uh, what do they call it? Um, the, uh, where the, <clears throat> the heat effect where the, uh, heat comes off of the cement are off the pavement and actually raises the temperature in, in a city a few degrees higher than it is in more rural areas that have more water and trees and grass. So, um, yeah, if you have a lot of hot pavement that you're walking on, these are probably going to flip and flop. Um, just because of the nature of heat and rubber. Um, so, I'm, I'm just loving these though. I think these will work out, but I would not do a whole lot of errand running in these, particularly somewhere like um, Montgomery, where um, there is a lot of um, hot pavement so that's that and <clears throat> I am struggling guys I am worn out all the running and gaming and shopping and fun things going on and everything uh, these were super comfortable on trial I've heard people say they were not comfortable on trial broke in to being comfortable and I've heard people say that they were comfortable and then when they wore in they, they were hard I so I, I would just have to wait and see and let you go the guys know later on down the road as I wear them um, so those are today's unboxings and um, I hope wherever you are in the world that peace and love finds you. I hope that you have all that you ever dreamed. I hope that you know that you are worth it. Um, and please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I do one of these unboxings. And... Um, love you guys it has been um a great run and um i hope continued blessings um to help me bring videos your way and i will see you guys on the next unbox meantime on your pre-love sites and um yeah um do a little haggling uh because right now you got the room to do that <coughs> don't look at that full price and decide that you have to pay for pre-loved uh, that full price in or greater uh, particularly if it's been sitting there for a while, if it's a site that allows you to contact the seller 
um, even if it says that they're not taking offers, I would try to make them an offer anyway. And um, I'm sorry, I know don't throw stones my way if um, you're trying to unload your bag and actually make a profit because you got it before price increase. And I'm sorry about that, but yeah, guys, really, right now you can get some good deals, um, particularly in the next, um, uh, the, in the coming months. Um, I believe that with the onset of the summer months, if we have a good summer season, a good active tourist season, um, here in the U.S., I think that the, um, the, that the market is going to be um, a little more stable, but, um, yeah, and definitely in a recession, it is a buyer's market, unfortunately, but those looking to sell, um, I would recommend holding off on, um, selling anything that's not a, a necessity, um, you know, um, some people say, hey, my class of flower is a necessity. I feel you. I feel you, girl. But, uh, got a girl. Y'all. But, um, so I feel y'all. But, um, here's the thing. Um, your, um, lower brands that are at a more, um, when I say lower, I mean lower down the tier, um, are going to be more affordable. And the more affordable items, um, people are going to be quicker to purchase, um, whether it be uh, luxury or whether it be um, hand towels, um, which by the way could be luxurious. We'll get on that another time. Love you guys.